Now topic 6.3 is trigonometric identities which is a very important one. We are going to learn only two trigonometric identities here. The first one is tan x equals sin x over cos x. That's the first identity. And the second one is cos square x plus sin square x equals 1. These two identities you should memorize. That means if you have tan x, you can replace it by sin over cos or vice versa. Here also the same thing. When you have cos square x plus sin square x, you can replace it by 1. But there is something you need to understand here. In the place of x, you can have anything. For example, let's say you are tan theta over 2 you have. You can replace it with sine theta over 2 over cos theta over 2. Or let's say you have sine 3a over cos 3a, same as tan 3a. So the x should be the same. And here in the second identity, the power has to be 2 always. It cannot be power 3 or power 4. And you are not supposed to apply the identity when your power is not 2. It has to be 2. But the x can be anything. For example, you can have cos square 3a by 2 plus sin square 3a by 2. As long as they are same and the power is 2, you can apply this identity. So you should memorize these two identities. And let's solve some questions from exercise 6c now. So here in question number one, they want you to simplify these expressions using the two identities. So the first one, 1 minus cos square half theta. If you look at the second identity, you have sine square x, cos square x plus sine square x is 1. You bring the cos square to the other side. You have cos square x plus sine square x equals 1. Put the cos square on the other side. You have sine square x is 1 minus cos square. So when you have 1 minus cos square, you can replace it by sine square of theta. That's the answer. Simple as that. Here take 5 as a common factor. We'll have sine square 3 theta plus cos square 3 theta. And we know this is equal to 1. So 5 times 1 is, is 5. Here for D now, sine theta divided by tan theta is sine over cos. So when you have a fraction in the denominator, you can put it as a reciprocal and multiply. So you'll have sine theta times cos over sine. This can be cancelled, you will get cos theta. That's the answer. So here we have used the first identity. And now here, use the uh, second identity. 1 minus cos square is sine square. So I'm going to replace 1 minus cos square by sine square 3a divided by. Use the same identity. 1 minus sine square is cos square. So replace this by cos square. Now square root of sine square. Square root and the square will be cancelled. You'll we'll have sine 3a over cos 3a which is same as tan 3a. Use the first identity. Here for question G, you have to open the bracket. Use a plus b whole square to open the bracket and simplify. a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square plus a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 2 cos square x minus 2 sin x plus 2 sin x can be cancelled. You will have 1 plus 1, 2. Sin square plus sin square, 2 sin square. And then you have 2 cos square x. You can simplify this further. Take 2 as a common factor here. You have 2 plus 2 times sin square x plus cos square x. This is 1. So 2 plus 2 is 4 is the answer. Okay, question number 5C now. They want you to prove this. So we are going to start with the left hand side. 
right tan x as sine over cos using the first identity. So 1 over tan will automatically be the reciprocal of this, which is cos over sine. So you have two fractions. How do we add them? You multiply, cross multiply and multiply the denominators to make it as a common denominator. So your denominator will be cos x sine x and the numerator will be sine times sine, sine square x, cos times cos, cos square x. We know sine square plus cos square x is 1 using the second identity when the denominator is sine x cos x which is same as the right hand side. Prove it already. Here, start with the left hand side again. We need to prove this equals 1 minus 2 sine square x. There is no cos square here. So that tells us that we need to get rid of this cos square x. So look at the identity sine cos square plus sine square equals 1. So cos square will be 1 minus sine square. Replace this by 1 minus sine square x minus sine square x. Open the bracket and simplify. You get 1 minus 2 sine square x. That's it. Okay, look at E now. We are going to start with the left hand side. Just open the bracket a minus b whole square, which is a square over sine square theta minus 2ab, which is minus 4 sine theta cos theta plus b square cos square theta. And apply a plus b whole square here, which is a square sine square theta plus 2ab. So plus 4 sine theta cos theta plus b square 4 cos square theta. So these two terms are same with the negative sign, opposite sign you can cancel them. 4 sine square plus sine square is 5 sine square theta. 4 cos square plus cos square is 5 cos square theta. Take 5 as a common factor, sine square plus cos square is 1. So it's fine. That's how you prove. For questions like this, the first thing you need to do, you are given cos theta and theta is obtuse. Draw a right angle triangle first. Draw a right angle triangle and put theta here or here. I'm going to put theta here. So cos theta is negative 3 over 5. Don't worry about the negative sign. 3 over 5. If you look at the Sokotova we learned in lower classes, cos theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5. And you can use Pythagoras theorem to use find this side. Let's say it's x. x squared is uh, 5 squared minus 3 squared. Use Pythagoras theorem. So 25 minus 9 16, x is 4 is 4. Now here they want you to find sine theta and tan theta. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. That's all. But again, we cannot stop here. We have to consider this information also. Theta is obtuse. That's when you need to look at the ASTC diagram. If theta is obtuse, the theta lies in the second quadrant because 90 to 180 is called obtuse angle. So when theta lies in the second quadrant, in the second quadrant only sine theta is positive. The cos and tan should be negative. So you put negative, sine is positive. That's the same thing here also. Draw a right angle triangle. Put theta here. Sine is opposite over adjacent, or oh, sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. Now we use Pythagoras theorem to find this x. x is square root of 25 square minus 7 square. We got 24 here. So x is 24. Now they want you to find cos and tan. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan theta is 
opposite over adjacent. But we need to use this information now. Look at the ASTC diagram. 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi. This is 0, pi by 2, 2 pi by 2 or pi, 3 pi by 2, 4 pi by 2 or 2 pi. So they are talking about this quadrant. In this quadrant, only cos theta is positive. Cos is positive, sine and tan should be negative. That's how you solve this.